heading back from Madin <coughs> to Tata. See the devastation. The road surface is a meter high. Well, I'm told this road was also underwater. I just visited a village, Chuck number 14, in the seal. Balarchi here in Badin where Islamic Leaf team were in action distributing food food packages up till 11 p.m. last night and I wanted to go and see some of the families one of the challenge we face like other charities as well is logistics is the actual access to the remote areas in the early days we were actually using boats to reach out to the flood victims now some of these roads are accessible but the structure the road structure the surface you can see is very poor which hampers the delivery of relief in the far remote areas. There are some of the families who are camping on the side of the road because well, they have lost everything. Their livestock, their household belongings, The water is still, the temperature is warm. And these are ideal conditions for mosquitoes to spread malaria and dengue virus, which leads to deaths. It is race against time for Pakistan government to reach out to these people but I personally believe it's not possible for any single government on this planet to provide relief save people from disease on their own that's why I believe international community needs to act and needs to act fast